Oh well, I know that you're gonna know this one. So we're gonna go around the cones. We're gonna go around the cones. We don't want to go into the cones. Reason being, we've got a propeller on the front. Yeah. What that propeller does is creates thrust for us uh, to move forward through the air. If we lost the propeller, we're not gonna go and fly. Roger that, very nice briefing. Let's talk about the way that you're gonna scan the instruments when you're under the hood. Okay, so they told me that you can go with like this. The way okay. that I do it okay. is I use what's called the hub and spoke method. This hub is, and spoke? Yeah. Oh, nice. This, I like the term. This is where I keep my eyes and then go out from there, always going back to that. I like it. Yeah. All right, we're going to start okay. off with we'll a uh, soft field takeoff as well. 4333 Charlie, because let me tell. Right turn out, runway 15, clear takeoff. Okay, 15 on the directional gyro, 15 on the ground, 15 on the magnetic compass, full power. So you're not trying to fight it to keep it in ground effect? Yeah. Very nice. Cool. Okay. Removing one Nasha flaps. Second Nasha flaps now. Doing normal climb. <laughs> normal climb. Climb up to like 1300. 1300? Yeah. You got it. We should be good. Alright, my <laughs> controls. <laughs> your controls. Put your hood on. Okay. I'm gonna remove my headset first. Good. Good stuff. I'm gonna talk so much <laughs> about you now. So much <laughs> You are the worst student that I've ever had. No, he's actually one of the best. Okay, I just see my instruments. So you, that can, you can only see the instruments, that's right? That's good, right? That's a good thing. <laughs> that's what we're looking for. You've got the flight controls. Okay. Maintain 1300, maintain this heading 190. Okay. So constantly keep your eyes shifted between those instruments. Alright, everybody. Welcome to another video. Um, this video is what we call um, f***ing with Michael. Because Michael's got no idea what we're doing today. <laughs> Alright, give me a turn to 120, please. Turning 120. 120. Clear on the left. Okay, here we go. Um, there you go. You see, uh, you see this here? Yeah. That's a standard rate turn. So if I keep it there in two minutes, I should be... <laughs> 6184 Victor, get to me tower. Uh, two mile right base for runway 15. Oh boy. Two mile right base 15, 6184 Victor. Okay. Just went ahead and lost 10 degrees, so... Coming back to it. This, that's what can happen if you, if you don't scan the whole time. If you're not constantly shifting your eyes between this, this, going over to this, then you're going to be... Uh, be all over the place. You never want to get behind the aeroplane. Of course not. All right, my friend. Give me a turn to uh, one five zero, please. One five zero. One five zero. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Maintain that, please. One five zero. Thirteen hundred feet. Looking good so far. Oh, oh, oh. Both of that, that's right, okay. Um, I, I, uh, it's bumpy, right? It is a little bit bumpy, Okay, yeah. so it's not my mind playing tricks, no. right? Okay. No, it's, it's not you being a bad pilot, you're, uh, <laughs> you're doing very, very well. <laughs> Give me a heading 140. 140? Okay, heading 140. Turning. I uh, just overshot it a little bit. Back to it. There it goes. Alright, yeah. so what you started doing then was focusing on just the heading indicator. Yeah. Uh, you started losing your, your altitude. Constant scan. Just a quick look at each uh, yeah. each, each instrument. Alright. I've got the flight controls. Yeah, controls. My controls. Stay under the hood. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do some unusual attitude recovery. Which is to simulate that maybe you get into a cloud and then your instruments start doing 
uh, some weird things and you've got to recover the aeroplane back to straight level flight uh, based on what whatever I see yeah what you're seeing so let's say for example you see the uh, the altitude rising uh, you see the airspeed going low what would your immediate thought to be to do with the power in that situation add power exactly because you're slowing down the airspeed you don't want to stall right mm -hmm. oppositely if you if nose is pointing down and you're losing altitude you want to reduce that power um, and stuff like that so the recovery technique is always going to be play with the power first you want to level the wings and then raise or lower the nose towards the horizon okay, okay. what I want you to do is I want you to keep your eyes on those instruments for now okay, okay. keep keep your eyes there all right let's do it so so it feels doing unusual attitudes Okay, so with that, how would you recover that? Okay. There you go. Level the wings. And then raise the nose. You just want to be immediate with that power. Straight away. Hand straight towards that power. Okay, there we go. Okay, here we go again. Okay, recover. Okay. There you go. Alright, mic controls. Mic controls. Okay. This time, what I want you to do is I want you to close your eyes. Okay. And put your head down. And then when I say recover the plane, you're going to look up and you're going to immediately do whatever you need to do to get the plane recovered. Okay, recover. <laughs> ah. <What? laughs> Did you feel like we were in a turn when your head was down? I didn't feel that, but I was telling my head, ignore everything that you are thinking. Exactly. It's not real. That's the whole point of what I, why I wanted to show you that. Okay, back to like a 150. So the whole point of that last one was to show you that you cannot trust your body signals. Body signals are there to f*** you up. You were making a few turns. <laughs> I was making a few turns and I kept it at a constant rate yeah. turn for, for a few seconds. Okay. Which stopped the fluid in your in, uh, inside your ear. Yeah. In the semicircular canal, it stopped the, that. Yeah. So when I turned back to straight and level, you thought we were in a turn to the opposite side. Yeah. But the trick is not to panic. <laughs> exactly, just rely on those instruments. And what what was good was you looked at them and you thought, well, nothing's going on here, I don't need to correct anything. Yeah, I was saying, why am I supposed to correct you? <laughs> Can you do, can you rap? No. Let's do some rapping. No. The other Michael can. That guy does the rapping, you do the weight balance spreadsheets. Yep. That's your thing. Yeah. You know those Mac versus PC commercials? He's the Mac and I'm the PC. Exactly. Look at this guy with his weight balance spreadsheet. Boom. He's even got the, the CG graph on the. Okay. This guy revolutionizing <laughs> the way that we do things. Pass impending. Uh, I will sue you in court. If Samsung is looking at this, you are not going to copy this. I'm going to declare a patent. <laughs> He's even got the pressure and density altitude down here. Look at this. Again, patent pending, guys. <laughs> patent pending. Don't f***ing use this s***. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's do name the theme. Bomb. Bada bum bomb. Bomb. Bada bum bomb. Bam, bam, bam. Indy and Jones. One of my favorite themes. What's the Star Wars theme? Oh well, I know that you're gonna know this one. James Bond. Yep, 007. Love James Bond. Who's your favorite Bond? Uh, Daniel Craig. Daniel Although, 
I mean, it's like in between uh, Sean Connery and Daniel Craig. There you go. It's Sean Connery, Daniel Craig. I like Roger Moore. A lot of people are skeptical yeah, about Roger Moore. Yeah, you know, and people look at me very crazy when I say that my favorite Roger Moore, uh, Roger Moore movie was Octopussy. Octopussy. F***ing brilliant film. Ah, that's Harry Potter. Yes. That's, that's uh, right up your alley. There you go. Did you read the books? No. Uh, what about... Oh. Dun, 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 And I'm gonna stop it there because I've never seen the movie, Confession. That, me either. I've never seen it either. Not oh, either. oh, hear that, people from National. <laughs> My co-workers don't believe that people have actually haven't seen I've never seen Top it. Gun. Oh, oh Pirates of the Caribbean. That's Pirates. a good theme. I like that theme. Um, have you ever seen... Keep going. No, I cannot recall the movie. I cannot recall the movie, either or not, or the TV show, or anything. Lord of the Rings. Oh, yeah, definitely not watching that one. Why? I never understood the story. It's just a ring and... Lucky you saw. That's it, I mean, <laughs> yeah, if I don't get the story, sorry, you lost me. Alright, man, take your hood off. Oh, okay. Haha, <laughs> I knew it! How beautiful is that? Yeah. It is. I love this stuff, man. Ah, uh, what, the, the ocean? Yeah. This looks like it's arriving in Puerto Rico. <laughs> Okay, traffic, Cherokee, we're going to be entering uh, on the 45 for left down wind runway 1-4, we're about 2 miles to uh, the southeast. Okay. One mesh of flaps. Bowel carrier, traffic, Cherokee, 4333 Charlie, entering left base, runway 1-4, bowel carrier traffic. Bowel carrier traffic, Cherokee, 4333 Charlie, on final, runway 1-4, bowel carrier traffic. Up street. So soft feel, so it's just hold the nose as much as I can. Wow. Very challenging. Okay, flaps up, let's go.